everyone, and welcome back to Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins. For those who are just tuning in, we are live here at Shaw TV, and we have just opened up our phone lines, Calgary. So certainly feel free to give myself a call and my guest. That number to give us a call is 403-539-6710. And we will be more than happy to answer your phone call. So how long, Joy, have you been doing this for, the treatments? And uh, I took my first training in 1997, February, so 20 years. Mm, wonderful. Yeah. That's, that's quite... That's a long time. Th yeah. It is a long time. Yeah. And we actually do have a caller okay. that has a question for us. And our first caller would be Margaret. Margaret. You have a question for Joy and or myself. Hello. Uh, hello, uh, Jenny. Yes. My name is Margaret. Yes. Uh, I've called you before. It's quite a while back and enjoyed our little chat. But right now, I wondered what you could see. Um, I'm going through a bad patch health-wise, but that I, I understand and that I can deal with, but it's um, a legal deal. I'm wanting to change my will, and I'm having a hard time, seeing how I'm an elderly person, coming up with younger people that would do it, and I've been to a couple lawyers, and uh, I don't know, I'm just not getting pointed in the right direction. Uh, yeah, um, your health issue, just, just to let you know, um, the reason why your health issue right now is happening for you, it's been going on for a little while, lingering, is whenever we have any type of stresses that we're dealing with and in our body, of course, it's interesting how Joey is here, um, it, it does affect our bodies. Um, and I'll actually have Joey even elaborate a little bit on that, but with the lawyer situation, um, with putting the will and changing the will and, and everything together like that, yes, you will do it. Um, if you find that you're not getting really fur farther or anything with a law firm, it's just because you're not with the right firm. I do know a law firm, so if you get stuck, send me an email. Um, but besides that, I just really feel that all of that, within a month I hear the number four, so within four weeks, everything is gonna be put together a little bit more, but just make sure that um, whenever you're, you know, making changes with certain things that, you know, you're very blunt about it like that because it, it does take time after to put everything and rectify everything. But it'll be perfectly fine for you. Just let go a lot of the worry and stuff like that. And if I were you, I just really keep hearing that um, you, you have to spend some time and space more so and let just certain dramas, as I call it, just go to rest. Because it, it does affect our well-being. It really does with people. You, you're very sensitive, so you're picking up on a lot of different energy one, from other people. Uh, lawyer that I talked to last, he suggested that because I'm wanting to find different people to handle my will, yep. um, that I should go and speak to the bank someone at the bank so they would know they would guide me in the direction as to like, I want to leave some money to the people that are going yeah to care. you're with the wrong firm you're with the wrong firm the, the, you pay a lawyer to help put the will together and to rectify it and everything like that for you. That's what they're paid for and that's what they do. So if you're having a lawyer kind of brushing it off because sometimes, you know, like they just don't want the extra work load giving to them. Um, so if you get stuck, send me an email, seriously, and um, I can send you to a firm that I know. Um, but um, within four weeks, that's gonna get resolved. Um, if, you, if you get on it this week, it'll be within four days. Oh, really good. Thank yeah. you very, very much, yeah. Jenny. You're very welcome. And Joy can even kind of give you a little insight about even even your health, about because I know it's all emotional. I feel that with you, and that's why yeah. it's yeah. going on. What just, would you suggest? Just to breathe into all the feelings and uh, just to be aware of it, and especially into the solar plexus if it's anxiety and situational fear. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it would it would affect right away any emotions or tax we get. It does affect the stomach, which is called the, the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. So, and then it takes time to linger in. The energy takes time to linger in our, our bodies before it actually hits our physical body. So this has been going on for a little while with a lot of concerns. Once you find this other lawyer and boom, get everything together, you're gonna notice that things are gonna start to feel better with you within your body anyways. Mm -hmm. Jenny, just a quick question, because I know you do have to go on to the next, but um, do you feel that I have maybe come up with a wrong idea about the people that are now, uh, you know, the executor and the witness to my will? I have a bad feeling about uh, the, the lady. That you that you've now have as the executor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, your feeling is right. Oh, okay. So, so it's time I change that. Yes, and it, it, as I always tell everybody, always listen to your gut instinct. You know, we can get kind of sidetracked whenever we get emotional about certain situations, and then we're not seeing clarity on that. But your your gut and your intuition is spot on. Um, I was going to mention something like that, so I'm glad you did bring it up. So it, it is time for a change. It is time to change, to put everything together. You know, wills can be changed, um, but once it's in place and stuff like that, if you pass tomorrow, let's say for an example, you're not, but let's say if you did, then they would take the current will that's today or yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Uh, so um, you're going to be here for a little while anyways, <laughs> but absolutely for a peace of mind, um, get that going. And seriously, within the four days, if you get right on that tomorrow, this can be looked after for you. Really, really good. Thank if, you very, very much, Jenny. And by the way, you look extremely pretty tonight. Oh, thank you. Must be the earrings my friend Emma gave me for Christmas. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I told her I'd, I'd wear them on the show, so I don't, I'm not sure if she's watching tonight, but thank you. Well, I think they're, they're lovely. Oh, thank you. Thank you but very much. But it's your smile that comes across oh. to me. <laughs> There's thank a you glow. very much, dear. You're very welcome. Very Bye -bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. And, 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 it, and it's so true, though. I know, like, the more that we worry, worry, worry about things, we can create different things to come on with our bodies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the worry is behind ulcers, the stomach, yes. It's a big one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I know even with myself, if I get, you know, stressed out or worried, you know, we all go through <laughs> that. You know, it, it affects me, and then my body heats up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, not another hot flash. <laughs> So just keep breathing into any feelings that yes. that you're aware of, yeah. Even after the fact, yeah. Yeah, when you have a memory of something, breathe into that the feelings that surface, and that helps to complete the emotion. It it does it does yeah. because um, even when I tell people is you know people they want to hide the feeling because they're like I don't want to go there because yeah. it's a painful memory or situation. Yes. I'm like you have to go there. Yes, you have to deal with that head on. That's the only way you have to resolve it is from within to release it. Yeah, to let it go. Yeah, and usually people feel that uh, they're they're more afraid to feel the feeling than the fear is worse than actually going through it. Let's put it that way. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is and, and it, yeah and you feel so good at the other side yeah <laughs> it's like you got to face your fears yeah got to face your fears because yeah. i know this week i've been a little more busier you know because we had the full moon virgo energy on sunday yes. yeah. and um you know it does affect your sleep and this was an energy where of course um, reviewing the past six weeks, what we've done, what changes, what mm -hmm. projects we're working on, things are coming forward, yeah. or things are getting shown right in front of us. It's like, okay, <laughs> you need to change this. What isn't working? Mm -hmm. So we can be up saying, what do we do about this? What do we do about that? Well, deal with it and deal with the problem head on. Right. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Because physically, you know, then I'll be <laughs> sending them to joy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And just like people need to be open when they come to you, that you like them to be open so that you can do your magic. Yeah. Well, the people have better results when they come for sessions when they're open mm -hmm. and willing to, to, to feel the feelings. It is. Yeah. Because if somebody comes, you were talking about this earlier actually, because if somebody comes, you know, and they want a session done, either if it's yeah. like by myself or, or, or by, your, yeah. by you as well, yeah. you know, and if they come in with a bad attitude or their guards up, it's like, <laughs> why are you even here? <laughs> You have to open and surrender, yeah. you know, and then everything will just flow properly. I think uh, with Kairos, people learn how to receive the therapy. 
So that's why we do a minimum of three sessions to start with. If we just did one, they might not really get, yeah. get the full benefit, but if they have three in a row, they usually know how to receive it and they've had the results that they need. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Initial results, yeah. Yeah, Does, can somebody feel like the results right away normally or uh, would the well, average person really? If they're open, I'm imagine, like if they come in more closed and kind of yeah. like skeptic or something. People usually yeah. feel better after a session. Sometimes people come all bottled up and they have a lot of emotion. But the purpose of the therapy isn't to make people cry or mm -hmm. to get them to be emotional. Um, it's about to s support them in feeling to completion the trapped, painful emotion. Mm -hmm. uh, they usually feel better and sometimes it brings stuff up. And again, that's why we do three sessions. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Definitely. Do you, do you work with animals at all? Have you ever? I have worked with animals. Have you? I have. Oh, okay. I, we're not, I'm not, we don't train to work with animals, yeah. but the f a flow is a flow and it works. And I have worked with animals and they respond very well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, I know it. they get built up too with emotions yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And if I don't have animals myself, but if I've been working and doing a lot of Kairos therapy and then I, I'm, I'm in the presence of animals. They are just around me because they pick up yeah. on the energy. They just, they really like it. <laughs> so if somebody, let's say, you know, wanted to take a course and, and learn more how about to do it? the energy. Yeah, how, how, what is the best way for them like to go about it? And what would you recommend that okay, they so do? Okay, so currently uh, training is offered in the States, in California and in the United Kingdom where our head office is, but, um, or the head uh, association office is. Um, I'm, I have a waiting list for people who want to, want to take training in Canada, but right now it's in the States. Yeah. So are you going to start teaching? Uh, they would like me to, so yeah. I, you tell me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's there in the future for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I would look into it. I would yeah. do it. It's, it's wonderful. Well, yeah. many people come for personal development yeah. and self-awareness. That's what the first two seminars are about. And then if people want to go further, then they can take more training and work with a mentor. So how long does it take? Like if I said, okay, I want to I wanna now learn yeah. well, they how can, to do people it. People can fast track and get it done in a couple of years, but... Um, you know, it's as, it's as quick as people want to take, but they need to take uh, three series of, of seminars, and the seminars are four days each, a level one, level two, or A and B, yeah. Do you, do you recommend somebody kind of take it back to back to back, or, because I know like with, no. with some healing practitioners, yeah. um, you know, whatever energies they're working with, they're like, you know what, we want you to take, let's say, level one, and this is how it works, yeah. but we want you to have that space um, to ground that to come back and take level two. Yeah. So um, sometimes we offer level one over a four day weekend, have a few days break, and then level two over the next four day weekend. Um, because people are flying in from far away, that's the most economical way to do it. Um, but it is really important to have time and space in between each set of seminars. And you as you're, as you're uh, interning, you work with clients, you keep notes, you work with a mentor, so you need that uh, space of time in between so you can learn. Mm -hmm. so, so let's say if I said, okay, I, I have some emotional issues, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, how would you know where, like what part of the body to, to start working on? Okay, so that's why we have a questionnaire and an interview before each session. Uh, depending on what is up for the client at that time, I know which emotional center to go to. So for instance, we hold grief in our heart, uh, situational fear in our solar plexus, mm -hmm. anxiety, anger. Um, the belly is about a anything to do with self, from uh, confidence to shame. Mm -hmm. And then the root, and th these, the emotional centers are in the same places as the chakras. Mm -hmm. And then the root is about um, terror and uh, survival things. Mm -hmm. Do you use any type of essential oils at all or uh, is it? We're, uh, we, no, I don't for the session and sometimes I'm very careful about that. Some people are very sensitive to that sort of thing so uh, no, we don't use it. Do you, ever, do you ever find that your hands cramp up at all? 
Like no. if, if there's certain areas in the body, let's say that you can feel tension, like do you feel tingles in your hands? Well, or? we just allow it through. My hands will get very hot usually in a, in, in a session and that's what I notice. And I, and I stay in each center and in each position until I feel a pulse mm -hmm. and then I know that the energy is flowing in that, mm -hmm. in that area. So that's a sensation that I feel. Yeah. What like what age groups like, like if somebody said you know what I have a my son or my daughter mm -hmm. is like four years old let's say or uh, do you work with children as well? It works really well with children. They respond very quickly. Yeah. But it, I work with all ages, and in all places I've worked in hospitals on on people as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That would, that would be really good, especially if you know even at the hospice or something after um, when when people are dealing with their loved ones soon to pass, you know, to, to work, to with, work them. with them. Yeah, yeah that it would be a really good It helps with them. Exactly. And it helps with the people who are passing. It, yeah. It helps them to be more comfortable and perhaps ready for that transition. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. That, well, that, that was amazing. And we're already getting the wrap-up sign here. Great. Already. <laughs> and I want to thank, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. And um, we are going to be live again next Wednesday night here at Shaw TV and if anybody wanted to catch the show you can also go to YouTube and look under Jenny Cousins. I'm on Facebook and Instagram as well so if you want to come see and check it out and watch the show at a different time frame Shaw has it on reruns as well. Good night everyone. I will see you next Wednesday night.